Hello everyone. I don't know who this is, but I am on time. I'm early in fact. <laughs> so let's get started. Today we are planning uh, the 27th through the 2nd, I think 2nd, 3rd March of March. Point is, actually wait, I am way off. We're planning from the 27th to the 5th of March. Um, we are using a sticker girl kit that is several years old i think <laughs> i've been holding on to this kit for a very long time it's super duper cute um i liked it because like we're still kind of in february so it has that little romantic feel but it also has a lot of green so i decided to use it um finally <laughs> just because i really wanted to enjoy it and i'm tired of hoarding it um but we're gonna start off my planner is the plum paper planner in a5 vertical priorities and we are starting off with the date covers and actually remember what they're called this time um i did use the numbers from that sweet avas sweet avas paper kit that was a massive kit guys like i used it last week with the itty bitty sticker co kit and i still have a lot of leftovers so definitely one of the biggest kits I've ever <laughs> had. Um, but this week is going to be a little busy. I do have plans for the week, even though like the current week that we're in um, hasn't even finished. So it's going to be a crazy, crazy time in my life. I mean, I've been saying that for so long. I think ever since I started this job has been constantly go, go, go. Um, and every single time I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna have a moment of respite. It's just, it goes away. But, oh, that is life. Um, but yeah, uh, this kit, I love the pinks, the blush, and the sage together. Um, it's like a, a, I'm really into pinks. I've always been into pinks. But I've recently really gotten into green especially like this light green i think it's really nice but then i also really appreciate like a deep forest green and a, olive green is my favorite um it's been quite a bit i'm so excited about the traveler's company um announcing the olive the olive um cover and that they're gonna like move it forward as like a standard cover now which i'm really excited at the same time, though, I did get an olive cover, like a, the original 2017 that had um, BK customization. So, like, it was a little bit of a dumb move on my end, like, financially. <laughs> but I really did want, like, a original 2017. So now I'm going to have both, hopefully. Um, but I definitely do want... I haven't decided if I'm going to do, like, the standard TN or just the passport TN. Um... But you guys probably don't care. Um, but I will be having a video kind of comparing both uh, when that does become a reality type of thing. I'm also still waiting on a pen um, that I want to show you guys. So that's kind of what's coming to the channel. Um, but as you can see, I did kind of a similar thing that I did last week with the boxes on top. And... I did do the date covers on top instead of under the full boxes this time. So, yeah. And then I pulled in this washi. I believe this is like a sticker. No. A simply gilded washi. I was going to say sticker girl, but it's not. The kit is sticker girl. Um, I used, I used to buy a lot of their kits. Um, I don't so much anymore. Um, but... They have awesome kits. Um, I think they started foiling a lot of their kits now. And while it's really nice, um, it's also become a little pricey. So um, I would say shop the sales when you can. I think this was one of the... I think maybe this was an oopsie. Maybe they forgot the foil. But I like foil. Don't get me wrong. But I definitely... Um, don't need it all the time um and so that's kind of what happened like 
the only part of this that is foiled is like those little markers that I didn't even get to use. So I just wanted really the florals and stuff. So, um, and really what I, what really prompted me to get this kit was the little heart and then also the little envelope and the typewriter. So those full boxers are so lovely. Um, I wasn't too big of a fan with the actual boxes just because I, they're so hard to kind of bring in and not have them be like right next to each other or repetitive. Um, also like I don't need all the sizes of the boxes because I want them all to be the same size because I'm not as creative as others with like tying in the smaller boxes. Um, like the scallop boxes, they're so pretty. But I just don't know where to put them. Like, I hate seeing the the white space underneath. Um, and it's only, like, half some of it that's blocked, not all of it. I don't know. It's a weird mental block thing, I think. For, for, I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But here we are. We're using the kit. I'm just really proud of the fact that I'm starting to use all the kits. I think I have enough kits for the rest of the year like without having to buy new ones um so i'm trying to kind of spread them out strategically so that they still kind of match up like theme wise or like holiday wise uh without having any like random gaps um it is the months that don't really have a theme that i like struggle with because i'm not <laughs> entirely sure uh which kits to use and then i see something coming out and i really want new ones uh but really i've been re really limiting myself to buying from the itty bitty sticker co and then i'm trying to build up my hobonichi week side because i have so many vertical kits that i don't think i need to buy any and i think this is really going to be my last year in this kind of planner um i am really loving the book bound books um, not necessarily Hobonichi, it doesn't have to be. I have a sweet Freckles Designs weekly diary and I've been, that's been my everyday carry and I am so happy with that. Um, and then, you know, I just geeked out about the Traveler's Company. So I love having the freedom to like change the insert whenever I want. Um, and then I've been very, very, very happy with my Han H O N A six from Hobonichi, um, and I think it's just the size. The A six size is like perfect. Um, and then I know full well that for twenty twenty four, um, I have a B six that's very very similar to the Hobonichi cousin. So like you'll have the monthly, the weekly, and then the daily um from the honeybee shop so i'm super i like i really wanted to use it this year but because i had the plum paper planner from go wild uh for 2023 and it was dated and everything i just wanted to go ahead and use it uh well instead of having just it just sitting there so and it's a lot easier to store a b6 than an a5 so especially with discs and i really just want to be done with discs like spirals i tried um, and I did like the, what was it? The Lice Planner Action uh, Spiral. It was great. Um, but I think I just have an issue with the super thick planners at the end of the year or, or whatever. And I like to use stickers. And I feel like when I have the bookbound planners, um, just... A more uh, I'm more aware and because the planner paper is thinner it's it gives me a lot more to kind of play with um and then I'm kind of going towards a more um just because of work has been a little crazy um like this is gonna be the most decorative planner I have everything else is very much like my scribbles um and maybe a sticker or two so definitely going through a little bit of a change as far as like my planner likes and dislikes 
Um, this week, I do have one evening shift, which I'm really excited for. Um, I do have to, it's going to be a busy week. I have a staff meeting and it's going to be in person. And then, um, I have a couple more meetings in person, um, Wednesday and Thursday. It is my regular day off on Friday and depending on how it all goes, I do fully expect to take that day off. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, things had just been a little unpredictable at work and it's really something I'm not a fan of. I like having my structures. Uh, but you know, I'm trying to also be a good worker. So it's a, it's a hard or not a good worker, a good employee. Like I'm just, it's a hard balance between like making sure I have my boundaries and, and, and just doing a good job and being a team player. Anyhow, I am done for this week. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at two cats and a planner. I am very excited for March. Uh, and, you know, I'll be here next week. I am getting myself back on schedule. Thank you so much for watching.